Well, you're probably wondering why I'm under my truck and why I'm pressure washing under here other than you know, getting it clean. However, today we're going to be headed out to meet up with Chassis Tech. Chassis Tech? Is it S silent? I don't remember. Anyways, we're going to be meeting with them. They're going to be doing a scan of the bottom of my truck so we can put some damn skid plates on this thing. I bounce this off of everything out there, by the way. I can see a couple of spots I hit. And these skid plates that come on these power wagons are janky. So... I'm going to pressure wash this thing. Then I think Gene's coming over. I don't know if he's going to come over or not, but he was going to head out and kind of check some stuff out. Um, and uh, we're going to get this thing up on a lift. We're going to scan it and uh, see if we can put some awesome skid plates. I've also got a rear bumper coming for this and some rock sliders. So we're looking at those too. So I'm going to go back to cleaning this damn thing. Well, that was fun so everything's uh clean i'm filthy i'm crawling underneath and getting wet i'm going to uh go and take a shower and uh head out to chassis unlimited get this thing all scanned up Besides for the rack, there's no weird weight, right? Just that. With that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep that green line in with the red right there just to keep it optimal distance and try and keep it focused on the color. It doesn't like shiny surfaces so it kind of kind of got to hit everything a couple times. But for the most part it's picking up pretty good. called the uh, SEMA Tech Transfer, and they have all the OEM files. So you can get, dude, like little SolidWorks models of the entire truck. It's crazy, they'll give you, it's insane. You gotta look into that, interior stuff. Yeah, it's just, you, you gotta have a, you just got a really fast computer, and you gotta have a lot of time to filter through the files. They're all labeled with ridiculous names. <laughs> 
but yeah, it's pretty cool. But yeah, I mean, like that's how we base a lot of our stuff, and uh, we get all of our stuff off of those. But in this case, like this is Rams. Uh, like premier stuff, the power wagons, like the proprietary thing, so they don't release that information for those, you know? Yeah. So it's like when you got something that you want to make, you have to scan oh, it's it. Like, it's like Thank you. I know it's not very riveting stuff, but it's kind of cool to see the behind the scenes of what goes on when companies are developing products for our trucks. So I thought that was kind of a unique insight on, uh, you know, that portion of, of the process when it comes to R&D uh, for parts, uh, especially, uh, you know, the undercarriage, which is really, especially on these full size, uh, the, the factory comes with a pretty janky setup down there on the power wagon, so it'll be nice once they, uh, you know, get this thing rocking and rolling that I'll have some full skid plates below. So, anyways, check out Chassis Unlimited. They make the uh, front bumper and now the rear bumper that I have. We've got some rock sliders in the works and then obviously these uh, skid plates. So, uh, big shout out to them. Thanks for them for hooking this up and allowing us to uh, film there. And a big shout out to Modified uh, Motorsports. Really kick ass place. If you're in Livermore, check them out. They specialize mainly in like luxury stuff, but they also do some other things. They do lifts and, and wraps and all that fun stuff. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and uh, put it in the comments if you uh, maybe some ideas of us, uh, you know, what we can film more. We want to bring more to this channel than just overlanding we want to get some process and some product reviews and some things like that that you guys have been asking for so we love the comments we love the suggestions and uh, thanks for watching later